Hi everyone, welcome to Naresh Technologies. This is Srinivas. So, in this session, we are going to discuss so one interview question in threads that is, so what is the difference between sleep method and join method? Okay, the question is, question so difference between difference between sleep method and join method join method the question sir when we go for sleep method and when we go for a join method to understand clearly for example in a threads so means what though we are not creating any threads a jvm internally creates a thread is called a main thread we know that is a main thread suppose here we are taking the main thread in the main thread the execution starts from which method is a main method so main thread logic we need to place inside the main thread main thread and now we just want to create a child thread the child thread and here it is a user defined thread logic we need to place inside the run method inside the run method sir why sir two threads means so my requirement is a a simple logical program just sum of first n numbers sum of first n numbers as i want to find out but here so my intention is i just want to read the n value and next one after finding the sum i want to print some value in the main thread so nothing but it's a foreground thread front end and it's a back end thread just consider so child thread is responsible for calculations and the main thread is responsible for reading the input and as well as the printing the output ok. So, so, as soon as we read that n value we are creating child and start the child create child thread child thread and start that child thread start child thread. So, then whenever you start the child then automatically run thread executes and here it is a calculation starts calculation starts and something logic we are writing sum of first n numbers logic logic i value starts from 1 to n i plus plus so, this is the logic just sum is equals to sum plus i so, any logic no matter so once so means what the calculation has been completed has been completed then the control come back to the main thread and it should print that sum value as soon as it completed right it completed so then only so we need to print in this case the main thread has to wait until child thread completes its execution here the question is sir how much time a main thread should wait thread dot sleep method we are using suppose sir uh, suppose i am waiting 2 seconds sir 2000 milliseconds we need to pass we know that sleep method is taking uh, means what as a milliseconds as an argument. So, 2 seconds I am waiting then how can you decide that within 2 seconds child thread completes its calculation. So, that is not in our hands sir suppose I will wait 20 seconds sir then suppose if it completes uh, uh, means what uh, calculation within a 2 seconds only then why you are waiting 18 more seconds unnecessarily. So, that is also creates problem. So, here it is you cannot decide the time exactly right. So, means what how much time it will take nothing but child thread will take to complete the execution. So, nothing but calculations that we cannot decide. So, in that situation we should go for join join from the main thread. So, we are joining the child thread. So, so what is that join thread means main thread should wait until child thread completes its execution child dot join right until child thread completes its execution. So, then automatically directly it will come to that sum and then it will execute and here it is. So, if you do not know whenever one thread execution depends on another thread completion then instead of go for a sleep method we should go for join method ok. So, hope you understood. So, what are the basic things of a sleep and as well as a join method for more videos please subscribe to Naresh IT channel. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank you.